What if everything you know about life and death is completely wrong? What if you're not actually alive the way you think you are, but instead, you're already dead, moving through an illusion that only feels real? This isn't just a wild philosophical idea. It's based on a shocking scientific theory that turns everything we understand upside down. A well-respected scientist has proposed that death doesn't work the way we think it does, and that we may already be existing in a strange, in-between state, a reality created by our own consciousness after our physical death. If this theory is true, then what we think of as reality might be nothing more than a shadow of something that has already happened. And if you stay until the end, you'll discover how this eerie truth could completely change the way you live your life from this moment forward. The Shocking Theory That Redefines Life and Death Most people assume that life and death are simple and absolute. You're born, you live, and then one day you die. But what if that's not the full picture? What if death isn't a sudden event? but instead a shift of consciousness, one that we might not even notice? According to Dr. Robert Lanza, the creator of the controversial theory of biocentrism, everything we perceive as reality is shaped by consciousness itself. He suggests that time and space do not actually exist as fixed structures, but are merely tools the mind uses to make sense of existence. This means that death might not be an ending at all, just a transition into another state of awareness. If Lanza's theory is correct, then the moment you die might not feel any different than the moment before. Instead of fading into nothingness, your consciousness could simply shift into another version of reality, unaware that a transition has even occurred. This suggests that what we call life may already be an afterlife, a place where consciousness continues even though our physical bodies are no longer alive in the way we once believed. If this is true, then death might be nothing more than a doorway we've already stepped through without realizing it. What if you're already living in the afterlife? Think about this. Many ancient spiritual traditions and religious texts have suggested that this world is not the real world. They describe life as an illusion, a dream, or even a form of purgatory where souls exist in a state between true existence and the next phase of reality. What if they were right? What if we've already died in some higher realm and what we experience now is just the mental construct of a consciousness that refuses to let go? There are countless stories of people having near-death experiences, NDEs, where they claim to leave their bodies and enter another realm of existence only to be pulled back into this one. Strangely, many of them describe the other side as feeling more real than this life, almost as if this world is a dream and the next is the true reality. Some even say that they were given a choice to return, while others believe they were placed back into this world without their consent. Could it be that we are already living in some kind of afterlife? one where we have forgotten what came before? If this is true, then all of the strange occurrences in life, deja vu, synchronicities, and the eerie feeling that something is off with reality could be small cracks in the illusion, reminding us that we are not where we think we are. Maybe we have already crossed the boundary between life and death, and we are simply moving through an illusion playing out an existence that no longer truly belongs to us. Quantum physics, the universe is just a projection. If all of this sounds too bizarre, modern quantum physics might actually support it. Some of the most groundbreaking discoveries in science suggest that the universe is not a physical, objective place, but rather a holographic projection. This means that everything you see, feel, and experience is not as solid or as real as it appears. It's simply the brain's way of interpreting waves of energy and information. Scientists have found that at the smallest levels of reality, 
particles do not behave like physical objects. Instead, they exist in multiple states at once until they are observed, at which point they collapse into a single form. This means that reality does not exist unless there is an observer, which brings up a terrifying possibility. If you die and your consciousness stops observing this reality, does it simply vanish? Or does your mind create a new version of reality to continue existing within? If the physical world is just a mental construct, then death might not actually mean the end. It might simply mean that consciousness shifts from one reality to another, seamlessly continuing an existence that never actually stops, because it was never truly alive to begin with. This would explain why time seems to behave strangely in dreams, why memories feel like fragments of different realities, and why people sometimes experience glitches in reality that cannot be explained. The ultimate question, what happens next? If we are already dead, then the most important question isn't what happens when we die, but rather, what happens when we realize we are dead? Do we break free from the illusion? Do we wake up in another reality? Or do we simply continue the cycle, endlessly shifting from one version of existence to another without ever realizing it? Some believe that by recognizing this illusion, we can escape the cycle entirely. If reality is a dream created by consciousness, then realizing its illusory nature might be the key to waking up. Throughout history, spiritual masters, mystics, and philosophers have suggested that the ultimate goal of existence is to remember who we really are, to break free from the false reality we are trapped in. But here's the terrifying part. What if there is no escape? What if we are destined to move from one reality to the next, forever unaware that we have already passed the point of death? This would mean that existence itself is an endless loop where every death leads to another birth and every life is just another version of the same illusion. The Frightening Implications of This Theory if you are already dead, then everything you do in this life might not actually matter in the way you think it does. Your fears, your struggles, and even your achievements, are they all part of a reality that isn't real? If so, then what should you be focusing on? Should you chase success, love, and happiness? Or should you be trying to wake up from the illusion entirely? This idea has a profound impact on how we view life and death. If we are already in a post-death state, then traditional ideas about heaven, hell, and reincarnation might need to be re-examined. Maybe this is the afterlife, and what happens next depends entirely on what you choose to believe. Maybe the key to escaping this cycle is not fearing death, but understanding it for what it truly is, a transition, not an ending. The Hidden Clues that reality isn't what it seems. If we truly are existing in some kind of post-death state, wouldn't there be clues all around us? The truth is, there are strange patterns in life that many people dismiss as mere coincidence. Deja vu, synchronicities, prophetic dreams, and even glitches in reality could all be signs that something isn't quite right with the world we perceive. Have you ever felt like you've lived through a moment before? even though it's happening for the first time? Have you ever had a dream so vivid that it felt more real than waking life? These strange experiences might not be accidents. They could be traces of past realities bleeding through, reminding us that we are not in the world we once thought we were. Some people report waking up with new memories, personality shifts, or even unexplained skills. Others have experienced Mandela effects, where they remember history differently than how it is officially recorded. If reality were truly objective and fixed, these things wouldn't happen. But if our consciousness is shifting between different states of existence, then these strange occurrences might be evidence 
that we are already moving through different versions of reality without realizing it. This would suggest that life as we know it is far more fluid than we've been led to believe, a constantly changing projection shaped by our awareness. The illusion of time and the eternal now. Another eerie piece of evidence comes from the way we experience time. Many physicists argue that time doesn't exist in a linear fashion, that past, present, and future all exist at once. If this is true, then our perception of time passing could be just another construct of the mind, a mechanism designed to keep us from realizing the true nature of existence. Some people who have had near-death experiences report seeing their entire life flash before their eyes, but not in a chronological way. Instead, as if everything were happening all at once. If consciousness exists outside of time, then death wouldn't mean an end. It would mean a shift into another state, another way of perceiving the reality. The terrifying part? This means that you could be living multiple lives in multiple timelines all at the same time. And what you consider this life is just one sliver of your entire consciousness. This would also explain why some people feel strangely connected to places, people, or historical events they've never encountered before. They may have already lived them in another reality. Could awareness be the key to escaping the illusion? If all of this is true, if reality is an illusion, time is a construct, and consciousness never truly dies, then the most important question is, can we break free? Throughout history, spiritual masters have spoken about waking up from the illusion of existence. Enlightenment, as described in Buddhism, is often seen as breaking the cycle of suffering and realizing the true nature of reality. Similarly, in many mystical traditions, the goal is not to keep playing the game of life, but to see through it entirely. Some believe that simply becoming aware of the illusion is the first step to escaping it. If reality is shaped by consciousness, then could realizing its false nature allow us to change it? Maybe that's why some people who experience deep meditation, psychedelic journeys, or near-death experiences report a complete transformation in how they see life. They no longer fear death because they recognize that they have already crossed the threshold. They just didn't know it. Final thought. Are you ready to wake up? Now that you know this, what will you do with it? Will you continue to live your life as if everything is normal? Or will you begin to question everything? If consciousness creates reality, then what does that say about your own power? Perhaps the key to escaping the illusion is not trying to avoid death, but instead embracing the fact that you have already moved beyond it. If everything you believe about reality is a lie, then the question isn't what happens when I die. The real question is, what happens when I remember? Thank you for joining us today. If this video resonated with you, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content. See you in the next video.